Okay, we're on the Code Academy website and we're going to attempt one of the examples here. Alright, I've already done some of these, so what we're going to do now is go into the next stage of the course, which is the Blackjack Deal em Up section. If you're ready to move on, print in the console, I'm ready to build a blackjack game. Now we've already learned in the past to print on the screen, we use console.log and open your brackets and quotation marks and whatever's in the quotation marks will print on the screen. So um, I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I don't like typing. I'll just copy that over here and um, this is telling us that we need a semicolon. We don't have to put it in, but if we put it in, that little error will go away. Run, and we're ready to go to the next exercise. Okay, well, in the earlier courses, we learned that we declare a variable like that and assign it. Um, we will use this math random function and math floor. The first thing we want to do is math floor paste that in because I don't want to be bothered typing so that'll give us a a integer or a, a full numeric value for instance if that's 1.4 normally in those brackets it'll break it down to 1 so it rounds down so then we want to put this math random function in here Um, normally functions have brackets, I believe, and um, because we want to be, be between 1 and 10, normally the random number it gives us is between 0 and 1, so we've got to times it by 10, which will give us 0 to 9, and we add 1. So I'm hoping, with the semicolon there, oh there's some problem, what is the problem? Missing a variable name. Alright, we need to put this in, the name of the variable, it's a bit of an oversight, it fixes that, okay, so that's done, next exercise, nice job, okay, so to call a function we will say var function equals that um that those brackets and then the function goes inside these curly braces now what's the problem missing variable name actually I've got this around the wrong way so I put that in there better. Semicolon maybe? Yep. So we've got to have declare two variables in the function body score one and score two. Alright so I think but what it's telling us to do is declare these two variables so we'll um, indent that a little so we know it's inside the function. So score one equals I've got to remember this crap math random first we want math floor and then we want math it's hard to remember all this actually math random and we want to times that by what was it between 1 and 10, so we've got to times it by 10 and plus the 1 because we're going to get 0 to 9 normally, so the plus 1 makes it 
10 and I've done a spelling mistake alright so I think score 2 is going to be pretty much the same as score 1 of course it wants a semicolon Okay, I think that's not. I'm wrong. All right, so this is where you got to keep on trying to figure out what the hell's gone wrong. Okay, I haven't done what it's asked, and that's I've got to return a value, which is going to be the sum of score one and score two. So basically, we want to return from this function score 1 plus score 2 semicolon what's that like? still wrong maybe because we have to call the function well it does say that actually call the function to random scores run this a number of times so I'm not doing what it says so it's my own fault okay call a function you've got to have the brackets what's its problem now semicolon okay there you go no method I'm doing something wrong alright the problem is I'm using capitals. Simple as that. But clean, clean, yeah. clean these up. See how that works. Oh, there we go. 18, 14, 7. Looks like we're getting numbers between 1 and 17 so far. Eighteen, I saw. Okay, well, anyway, that's right, so let's move on. Alright, so we want to start by declaring this variable, which is to declare a variable var the variable equals. Now we're going to use a math floor and um, put our random number generator in here. Um, we want to then times that by 52 to give us a number between 0 and 51. Then we add the 1 to give us a number between 1 and 52. Uh, semicolon, keep it happy. Now, now we've got to print out this message. Okay, so we've got a console.log open brackets. We wanted to say, I got the score. So we put that in here. So I got the score. We use plus to add the number and then we will add the random number we've generated I think it needs a space here because otherwise it's not going to have space between the number and the E in score semicolon alright see how this goes no method random um, math dot ran okay. See a little spelling mistake and N instead of an M. There we go. So we're getting a number between one and fifty two, which is all good. Next lesson.
okay we'll do a variable called deal so variable deal equals alright so we've got to give this a random number between 1 and 52 which means we use this same math dot floor and then math dot random and I can already see a mistake I've made using a capital F times that by 52 this is just standard stuff now but I must say it is interesting to learn this deal is assigned a random number between 1 and 52 I'm going to declare another variable final that is assigned the remainder from dividing deal by 13 okay that would just mean final equals deal um, modulo 13 Could that be it? Print out the value of final in the console. This should give you values between 0 and 12. Okay. So to print, we would use console.log final. Of course, semicolons required. What do you know? It works. We got 0 to 12. That's good. I'm going to copy this just in case we have to use this thing again because I'm sick of typing it out. Go to the next exercise. Scoring system continued. VAR outcome equals doesn't tell us what number to give it so we'll just make it zero second declare a variable deal that is assigned a random value oh Jesus I've still got it in the clipboard So we're going to say deal equals, I haven't got it in the clipboard, it sucks. Obviously this crap here doesn't need to be in. I'll change it to this, neaten it up a bit. Alright, so deal is an even number create, well hang on declare a variable deal that is assigned a random value between oh, 1 and 40 there we go if deal is an even number what so? so if deal is an even number so why have I got those in there? it's not a function so basically if then normally you have what the question is which is deal divide by 2 equals 0 then we have in curly braces what it's going to run which will mean assign even to the variable outcome so outcome equals even semicolon 
if deal is odd, assign odd to the variable outcome. Okay. So we want to say if we have an else, I guess. Else outcome equals odd. Now I've done something wrong here. Well, probably this bracket's in the wrong place. That looks better. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Looks like it works. What do you know? Alright, I'm going to copy this hopefully. If I need it again, I have to type it out. Next exercise. We hope you've seen how we've broken down the blackjack game into many small steps. We begin by randomly dealing out one card to one player. Not many cards to many players. We then extend it to two cards and defined a function so we could play the game over and over again. We saw there was a need to communicate cards dealt to the player so we decided to use console log to print out the values. The next part was converting a card value between 152 to a value between 0 and 12. We used the modulo function to figure this out. Finally we made use of the if else statement to assign the correct black chat values when values were 0, 11 or 12. To start building your blackjack game, create a pop-up box that asks you to confirm are you ready to move on. Okay, console log. And paste in that code. Keep it happy with a semicolon. Now it's saying, oops, why is it not happy? Show hint. Code a confirmation box, check this link. Alright, obviously I've forgotten how to make a confirmation box. It's not an alert. Could it just be confirm? I can't remember. That's it. Confirm. I'm going to copy that and keep it in my notes. Alright, now we've finished this, start the next section.